I think you know, what we are wrestling with uh, in, for the United States is this paradox. The economy, by all measures, is booming. Yet that doesn't seem to be reflected in the lives of people. What's happened over the last 30 years? Well, the US is still one of the world's top performers in terms of um, average income, but the US has sunk to 25th place on social progress. So the US has gone through a period of uninclusive, what I might call empty economic growth. What we see a lot of is sort of what we might expect to see the trend of higher income is higher social progress, um, lower income, lower social progress, uh, but that's not always the case. Our perspective changed uh, over the last, I'd say 10 years, but definitely in the last five years, businesses in general have focused more on social justice. They knew you know, how to measure jobs. They knew how to measure growth. They knew how to you know, attract businesses. But there was this notion that you couldn't see more, that you couldn't look into the distribution. And what's happened in the last five years, and, and I was lucky enough to see it firsthand, is that equity became an actual policy objective. So many people are trying to achieve so many things um, and don't have the data to know where to target the funds. Nothing really gets done. So I think having this tool will be so, so helpful in the budgeting process and deciding where to target funds. So I think in our role of trying to ensure that city funds were being spent in the best way, SPI offered this amazing ability to be able to track so many different metrics. And so our community leaders, our corporate leaders, and our philanthropic leaders have come together to come up with some pillars that they're going to address. This data, I think, would be phenomenal for them to look at so that they can align all three of those principles and, and focus it on data, so the benchmarking and the measures of success. Because if, well, if you don't have a benchmark, you're, not, you're going to be unable to measure what success you've made. Um, I think the index, the indicators that we have um, from SPI allows them to have a baseline. You know, some cities will have some data, they may have good data on literacy, they may have good data on housing, but do they have the ability to overlay those together? We have to address data equity uh, because the future is going to go move right past us. And if we don't catch up to it, and we, we don't want to make sure that we're leaving out entire communities uh, in these algorithms and in these machine learning tools and things like that, then we're going to be forever perpetuating the same inequities that we're seeing exist today.